Welcome to Codebox, and thanks for tuning in. As you know, keywords play a part in SEO, and it is important where we place them. So in this short tutorial, we will walk through the places to add keywords in an HTML document. If you want to follow along, the code download is on the Codebox website. Link in the description box below. With that, let's get started. For this example, we will be working with the keyword aha ha an Australian wasp. The first obvious place to add the keyword is in the title tag itself. This gets picked up by search engines and shows up directly in the search results. Try to keep this short in less than 70 characters. Also keep it simple, right for humans, and the title should be easily understood at the first glance. Next, the meta description. This is a short summary of the page itself, and gives search engines an idea of what your page is about. Just don't write grandmother stories, and keep within less than 150 characters. Next, we have the meta keywords. This used to be good in the 1990s. But ever since it was abused, search engines now ignore this field. Not recommended to use this anymore. Moving on, we have the JSON-LD. That stands for JavaScript Object Notation for Linked Data. Basically, something like a detailed summary of what the page is about. The title, description, date published, date modified, author, and more. While this is optional, it is highly recommended to include one. This will better help search engines to understand your contents. Continuing to the next, is the first two paragraphs of the contents. Try to use your keywords as naturally as possible. For example, start the article with the aha ha is an Australian wasp, and a joke. This will help both humans and search engines to establish the subject, and context of the article itself. Finally, the last place to add the keywords is in the file name or URL itself. While this is rather low-key, this is another important piece that shows up directly in the search results. Try to keep the file name or URL as short as possible. That is, do not add dates, random numbers, or prepend it with categories. Set the file name directly to the point. And that are all the places to add keywords. But please take note that keywords is only one of the ranking factors. Modern search engines are capable of natural language processing, and can understand contents well enough. Unnecessary keyword stuffing will have a negative effect, so focus on creating good contents instead. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.